Hello everybody, it's your non-binary pal Grisha Ziva here and welcome back to another chill speed paint video. This is a traditional art video. Yay! Um specifically today i was using um watercolor and gouache for this piece i've talked about both using watercolor and gouache before but uh i believe this painting was actually my first time using both um i decided to uh use my character aries but a slightly altered version of them um and in this scene, there's a lot of stuff in here that um, I don't want to fully explain for spoiler reasons, especially the little teddies next to them. Um, actually, I think that's the only thing I don't want to fully explain. Yeah, I'm not explaining those. You get to decide what they mean. I'm not explaining it. <laughs> Um, this scene is actually kind of a sequel to another artwork I made. Um, it's this one. It's a watercolor piece. Um, and I thought it would be fun to kind of do a little sequel of that. This piece was also a little bit kind of indulgent for me because it's slightly based off of my own room and has some things like, um, there's like a little strawberry pillar pillow by the windowsill that I have. Um, and it has a, there's a succulent plant. I actually add in um that i was wanting for a while i did actually get a succulent type plant um it is called a actually i have it right here a euphorbia which is a really cool like mix of like a normal green plant and a succulent plant and i thought it was really it was really cool so yeah i do have that now but it's not quite the same as the one seen here um although i do have one of those too but it is currently really not doing well um but yeah so for this piece I decided to use a mix of gouache and watercolor and the way I did it is I used watercolor as a base. Um, I uh, put in all the colors that I wanted um, and I think I also did a little bit of shading as well with the watercolor and then I used gouache on top of that um, to refine the shadows and to um, add in some highlights because gouache does a lot better at layering on top of things so I decided to do that. Um, and the rendering ended up being, um, the whole thing ended up being very, uh, pink. It's very pink. Um, especially, like, the, the base colors ended up being very, very pink. <laughs> um, but I like pink, so, yeah, that's what we, we what we're doing. Although the, the colors they used for the rendering weren't pink, I used a dark blue and, for the shadows and a light yellow for the highlights, which is very standard for me. I use this a lot in a lot of my artworks. Um, and yeah, so the room was really cool to kind of design. Um, you can see outside the window, there's a whole like sunset landscape scene going on. And then they have like a little painting on their wall. They might have painted it themselves of like a similar scene. Um, I thought that was like a nice touch, a nice little detail. Um, and yeah, I just really like painting rooms and drawing rooms a lot. Um, which is why I want to get back into concept art more because I really do like doing that. The rendering for the background was also pretty simple. I just kept kind of refining um, the edges of the shadows and having it get darker towards where or further away where the light source was, which was the light uh, from the outside, a very bright sunset uh, landscape. Admittedly, I might have made the sun like rays a bit too strong, um, but I, I like how it turned out and I like the gradient. Um, the clouds are really interesting. I think I might have made the clouds a bit too strong as well, uh, but I do like how that looks um, overall, like the shape of the clouds. I think I was doing something slightly different there. And then I did a little bit of the grass too. Um, just to make, have that a little bit of depth as well. Um, I surprisingly didn't add like like a shine to indicate a window at all. Um, maybe they have their window open actually. Um, but usually I'll do this if there's like a window with an outside showing in. Uh, so that I can, you know, clearly it's like this is a window. Um, it, it's, it's a window. <laughs> it's a solid surface. Um, but I decided not to here for whatever reason uh, maybe I was just kind of nervous because I didn't know how well the gouache would layer on to that yet um, 
but hey, that's all right. Rendering everything was pretty interesting. When it comes to traditional art, I do try to still um, render like how I do digitally, um, but it can be a bit tricky. Uh, but I found that actually using the gouache helped a lot on top of the watercolor. Um, using watercolor a bit as a base I've also find is easier because then you don't have to build up as many layers with the gouache paint alone and you can let the watercolor do sort of that step and then just let the gouache kind of refine everything. Um, yeah, I've also, since I've been using gouache more, I have found that my preferences is basically I think gouache looks great on smooth and hot pressed watercolor paper um, and not really that great on cold pressed watercolor paper. I don't know why the texture just doesn't, it doesn't really work for me because I don't know if it's just the brand that I have but for some reason it lays on the paper like pretty texturally and like the cold press watercolor paper since it's a lot more texture just kind of emphasizes it a lot more and it doesn't really look that good but I find that using it on smoother paper like the one I have here uh, has been a lot easier watercolor is fine either way I'm fine with using watercolor on cold press or hot press paper um in fact, it, it does look quite nice on cold press if you're fine with the texture. Um, yeah, I find I, I, I just kind of prefer hot press and smoother paper in general. Um, but that's just my opinion. Towards the end here, I decided to line everything, including the background, with gouache. I used a dark pink and I used some thinner brushes for that. Um, I did forget to line Aries' uh, eyebrows accidentally. That, that was my fault. Oh, and speaking of which, I forgot to mention they're wearing a cute little outfit here. Um, I thought that would suit them if they were like a modern, more, more modern person. They're actually a fantasy character, but um, this is sort of like a modern AU interpretation. So yeah, they're wearing a cute little sweater, crop top, and some short jeans. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for this. So I'll just let the rest play out.
that was pretty much it for this painting. Um, it took a little longer um, than expected, but seeing as it was my first time doing watercolor and gouache, um, I'd say it went pretty well if you enjoyed this video. Um, be sure to check out all my other stuff. All of that will be in the description below. And I have other, I have one other video, no, two other videos doing traditional art if you wanted to check those out. And I hope to post more in the future. But with that, I will see you in the next video. Bye!